Hello, I'm Lee Hae Sung, host of Korea's Focus. Today's topic is an undiscovered path or a new path. Allow me to introduce you to a city that is embarking on a new journey. It is also called the second greatest city of South Korea. Can you guess which city? Busan! Busan is the second biggest city in Korea and it's got so much innovation happening. That's correct. Busan is an important city where all the consulate generals are located in. Have you been there before? Yeah, I love Busan. You've got Haewoon-dae with the beach, you have Deji gukba, one of my favorite <laughs> dishes, and Seomyeon for the amazing nightlife too. Lately, Busan has been a buzz with excitement as preparations are underway for this. Let me introduce you to today's guest who will give us the answer. Let's welcome the CEO and co-founder of the Edutech company, Enuma. Welcome, CEO Suin Lee. I'm Suin Lee, CEO and co-founder at Enuma. Enuma is an Edutech company that creates a solution to support basic literacy and math learning for all learners in the world. So, I'm kind of curious, what is currently happening in Busan right now? Have you heard of Expo? Expo. Expo Expo is a um, short word of exposition. Uh -huh. mm. Nowadays, every citizen in Busan is working together in hope of winning the bid to host the World Expo 2030 Busan. The World Expo is the three major international events like Olympics and oh. World Cup. Mm -hmm. And it is Korea's first time to entering this bid. The Korea's will to host World Expo 2030 Busan is so strong. So um, we got the unanimous support resolution at the National Assembly last April. In this June, at the B BIE, uh, the President Yoon himself stepped up to present. <gasps> President himself? Yes. Mm. Actually, I watched the video clip that you are presenting in the the BIE General Assembly, and it was very impressive. You, you presented with the singer Sai, right? Yes, uh, it was an honor to present in front of all those BIE members in Paris with Sai and Professor Jin yang oh. uh, And I was a third presenter and President Yoon suk yeol wow. wow. But to my knowledge, Korea already had two expos one in Daejeon in 1993 and another one in Yeosu about 10 years ago. So I don't think it's the first time. Both were smaller specialized expo about specific theme in short period of time. The World Expo is a maximum six month long BIE registered expo without any limitations on themes or scale. I personally yeah. visited the Dubai Expo uh, held in 2021. Oh. It was originally planned in 2020, but postponed because of the pandemic. It was just amazing, the scale of all those beautiful pavilions and the theme days are shared about world sustainability and the AI and the future. It was just amazing. I think that very important thing about Expo is Expo has been leading the history of human civilization. From light bulb, pin locomotive, telephone, airplane, and automobile, everything was introduced at World Expo. But World Expo still plays an important role beyond just an exhibition hall. The World Expo is an economic and cultural Olympics where each country demonstrates its state of development and capabilities. But it also acts as a platform to share information and technologies related to the pending issues such as pandemic, climate change, polarizing of technology and wealth, uh, and the aging population. Oh. So it encourages everyone to find solutions together. Why do you think Korea took on the challenge to win the bid to host the World Expo 2030 Busan? Korea has developed so rapidly over the past 50, 60 years, and now it's become one of the top 10 economic superpowers. Yeah, Korea received a lot of support from the international community before becoming a burgeoning democracy. So I'm sure Korea is willing to give back to the global community. Why should the World Expo 2030 
be held in Busan among many cities in Korea? Busan. Hmm. Good food, good weather, convenient transportation. I think it's only a couple of hours from Seoul if you catch the KTX. Yeah, and... two hours and a half. It has ferries, flights, KTX. I don't think there is a city more convenient than this. Hmm. As a gateway connecting Eurasia and the Indo-Pacific Ocean, Busan is the center of transportation and distribution of the world's second largest port for transshipment. Wow. Second largest. That's why Busan is open-minded and has an inclusive culture. Mm -hmm. But there is another reason why Busan became such a city. Hmm, another reason. Was well, it because of the Korean War? So Busan used to be the provisional capital city during the war. Yeah. Um, Have you heard of Korea Santorini? Ah, in Busan. Yeah, I think it's a uh, Gamcheon culture village, isn't it? Yes. The village was an unauthorized shanty town built by people from other cities who came to Busan looking for a job. Mm -hmm. When the Korean War started in 1950s. Refugees settling along the mountain ridges in Busan. Oh. It is a place that has seen all the joys and sorrows of our history. Mm -hmm. For now, the village has become Busan's top tourist spot mm -hmm. with plenty of beautiful cafes. During the Korean War, foreign aid supplies like wheat and corn all landed to Busan. Busan essentially survived on those supplies and then began to flourish among with the prospering economy of Korea. That's why Busan is seen as a global successful case of ODA and thus became the host city for the fourth high-level forum on aid effectiveness in 2011. Oh. What's another thing that makes Busan special? The beautiful nature. Like, Busan has a wide range of natural scenery, including Nakdong River estuary and Taebaek Mountains, the artificial port, wild coastlines. Yeah, it's endless attractions. Yeah, Busan's amazing. You can go to Haeundae and go for a swim. You can go to Bomosa Temple and explore the scenery, or you can go for a hike on Dongne Mountain Fortress. You are like a Busan ambassador. <laughs> I would love to be. Please call me. I would love to be. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, Busan is beautiful city offers various landscapes from blue oceans and beautiful mountains to new cities and old towns. Mm -hmm. That's also why many Korean movies and dramas are filmed there. Ah. Uh, let's see. Friends, Train to Busan, Tidal Wave, Ode mm -hmm. to My Father, Decision to Live. Ah, Decision uh, to Live. Pachinko. I just watched that two days ago, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and DP. It's oh, also well known in Asia's largest film festival, the Busan International Film Festival. Oh. So it's really a cultural hub. There's so many things going on. That's not all. That's not all? <laughs> That's not all. Busan has experience in hosting significant global events, such as the 2002 ASEAN Games, right. APEC Summit 2005, ASEAN ROK Commemorative Summit in 2014 and 2019. Yeah. And uh, this experience can serve as a gem for the World Expo. Like K convention power. <laughs> I'm very excited. Using cutting edge technology, Korea wants to create a cultural festival, an expo where each country can freely present of its unique culture, tradition, and technology. In November, the BIE member states will have a secret voting session at the BIE General Assembly to choose the final host city. In November? In November. The Korea government announced the Busan Initiative recently. Through the Busan Initiative, Korea will share its development experiences with the international community. It is an international cooperation project that shares Korea's unique growth experience mm -hmm. with member countries to solve issues shared by humankind, such as the digital gap, climate change, public health crisis, and food crisis. Yeah, so a lot of these issues, they can't be solved by an individual or even by one country. Right. So we need to exchange knowledge and resources with countries across borders. The World Expo 2030 Busan slogan is transforming our world, navigating toward a better future. Under the three theme of sustainable living with nature, uh, technology for humanity, 
and the platform for caring and sharing, we are preparing an expo that combines nature, humanity, and technology. Mm -hmm. The world's first prototype sustainable floating city <gasps> will also be unveiled at expo. Whoa. Can you guess what this might be? I think I read an article about it. Because of the climate change, the sea level rises to a severe level. And that's why they have planned to build habitable floating islands in the ocean for that solution. That's right. Busan is the first city in which the UN habitat decided to build cutting-edge, self-sufficient floating island for climate refugees. They are working hard to create floating islands using advanced technology, self-sufficient energy systems, and related green and eco-friendly skills. Yes, it will be the innovation that will be fit the standards of the expo. So listening to your explanations today makes me wish that Busan gets selected as the final host of the World Expo 2030. All right, so thank you for your precious time and thank you for the great discussion. Chen Bo and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.